Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at The Witcher 3 running on Intel HD620 graphics on a KB Lake Core i3-7100U. And as you can see here, we're running at 720p and all the detail settings turned down to the absolute minimums. Uh, I'm taking a look at this game because while it's not one I've played, um, I've never actually had a go at the Witcher series, I've heard they're very good, and I've had quite a few requests to take a look at them in the past, um, so with the sale that's currently on on uh, Steam for the ninth anniversary for the games, I thought I'd pick it up and take a look, as obviously it's something people want to see. Um, and playing it on HD 620, you can see here, I played through some of the this tutorial and frame rates on indoor sections and smaller areas were around about sort of 20 frames per second. Um, going to these outdoor se sections though in the main sort of world, that is dropping off. You can see here they're getting down as low as about 10, 11 frames per second. I don't think I saw it drop into single figures during the gameplay. But really, you're getting right down on what is actually playable on a machine like this. Um, really, it's with VSync off, the input lag wasn't too bad, but I imagine you're going to struggle against sort of the tougher enemies in the game. It was becoming quite hard to do counter attacks and things like that. Um, on the plus side, the game does render correctly. I'm going to take a look at this next on Iris 540, where I think actually it may well be playable. Um, but it does look for sort of Iris, uh, sorry, HD 620 and similar graphic solutions, um, so 520, 5500 is probably going to be a bit slow. Uh, that said, if you do really want to play the game and that you've got that, it, like I say, it does work, you're just not going to be getting a great experience from it. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for more uh, titles which do work better on Intel HD 620 graphics and let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to see us testing and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching. We're out of its realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. 